What a fascinating tie Atalanta and PSG provide in the early hours of Thursday morning. It's Champions League quarter final time. They're all fascinating, of course, when you get to this stage. But Luke Wilkshire, when you look at the attacking weapons that both PSG and Atalanta have, ooh, this one should be brilliant. It does. Uh, you know, Atalanta's been fantastic um, all season in Serie A, but you know they've had a little bit of a bit of a wobble come towards the end there. And um, and PSG, obviously, uh, fresh fresh out of lockdown. Uh, they've got the cup win behind them and obviously without Mbappe we think uh, you know it's, it makes for an exciting game and PSG don't want to stumble here they want the Champions League. Well that's uh, the interesting dynamic as John Aloisi joins us as well in terms of PSG they haven't played for so long Johnny apart from that French Cup final win over a Lyon that went through against Juve so it didn't seem to bother Lyon for example how do you think it will impact a PSG particularly if they don't have Mbappe? You don't think that uh, not playing competitive football for five months should impact them too much. They've had a lot of uh, good friendlies. They also played that cup final that uh, they won on penalties. Uh, they weren't so convincing, but against a, a decent Leon. Um, but uh, not having Mbappe is a big loss because you know he's just so uh, powerful when he, he's got that space. He's so quick and direct that, uh, especially against the Atalanta who like to attack, there would have been a lot of space for him. But you still think that they've got good enough players to actually beat uh, Atalanta, but it's not going to be easy at all. We've seen the pressure, Luke, of uh, obviously Manchester City or another club like PSG with this enormous weight on their shoulders to win this competition. Do you sense that the PSG will, will sort of get the feeling that this is their best opportunity ever, particularly when you look at that side of the draw? For sure they do. Um, but it, every year you're looking at them and they're, they're thinking, oh, we've got, a good, we've got a good chance, we've got a good run. And um, they every time seem to stumble. Um, so that sometimes psychologically is playing in their mind as well. Um, the fact that they see that and you've got to really focus on just this one game and get through this one at a time, one at a time and not look too far ahead. Um, you know, they, they can't underestimate Atalanta. They're, uh, they're not going to roll over and just give it to them. Atalanta have been one of the stories, uh, Johnny, of the European season, no doubt. And the way they play, the way they played against Valencia, they score free-flowing, whether it's in a domestic competition or in the Champions League. They have no fear. Where do you see their major threats? Uh, Zabata is their major threat uh, up front. They're going to miss Ilicic, who was uh, unbelievable against Valencia, scoring all those goals. But they still got other players in the team that can step up and score goals. Gasparini's got them playing amazing football. Uh, they're so hard to predict when they go forward because they go forward with numbers. Um, but uh, Zabata's probably their major threat. Such a strong striker and he's got a great eye for goal. I know you just said that they're so hard to predict, but what are you predicting from this game, Johnny? I'm predicting PSG. I think they'll have too much and it's time for Neymar to uh, live up to the hype and, and I'm sure he will because uh, he's such a good player and, um, and he'll be uh, the one that they'll go to in this game and PSG will win. And of course Neymar would be doing it in Cristiano Ronaldo's backyard as well. Can he be the talisman that lifts aside to Champions League glory as Ronaldo has been? What are you predicting? Yeah, I don't think... Um, I can't see them going all the way to win it. Um, but I do see him getting past Atalanta. I think um, that'll just be too much for them. Should be a cracker either way. Two entertaining sides. Whatever happens, this one is in the early hours of Thursday morning. And of course, like every Champions League game, it's live on Optus Sport.